Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a crochet border using the crochet cable stitch. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week and you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. So let's go ahead and get started on what you need to know to make the cable stitch. The cable stitch does actually have a stitch count requirement. The stitch count requirement for the cable stitch is in multiples of three plus two. So first thing that we need to focus on and take into consideration is the foundation row to our border. The foundation row of our border is the most important step of the whole border process because the foundation row makes sure that your stitch will actually work, will actually fit as the border. So we need to make sure that the number of stitches in our foundation row for our border is in a multiple of three plus two in order for this cable stitch to actually work. So take a second right now and count how many stitches run across the top of your project. So one, two, three, 17, four, 18, five, 19, 20. All right, so I have 20 stitches that run along the top of my border. I think to myself, is that in a multiple of three plus two? Well, I know that if I take 20, subtract two, that gives me 18. Is 18 div divisible by three? Can I divide 18 by three? Yes, I can. 18 divided by three is an even number six. So I know that this cable stitch will work great along the top row of my border. Let's go to the side. I want you to count how many rows are in your blanket or washcloth or project item you want to put this border on, okay? So go ahead and take a second and count all your rows. 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 rows in my item that I wanna put a border on. I just worked the number 20 out. I do know that 20 minus two is 18. And I do know that 18 is evenly divisible by three. So I know that this cable stitch border will work on the sides of my item too. If you are a brand new crocheter, you might also want to count how many stitches you began the project with because it is possible, not saying always, but it is possible that the number of stitches you began with is different than the number of stitches that you ended with. You may have added a stitch or dropped a stitch. So that does not matter with the border process, but you wanna make sure is the number of stitches on the, in the beginning of your project, on the bottom of your project, also working with the stitch count of a multiple of three plus two, okay? Okay, when attaching the yarn onto your border, you just find the corner, the very first stitch of the top of your work. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook, Going to yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch to attach that yarn onto your work, okay? The foundation row of your border is just one single crochet in each space all the way around. We wanna make sure that we have enough stitches to actually make this work. If in your count of stitches along the top row of your item was not working with the cable stitch of being in a multiple of three plus two, this is where you're going to add stitches. For example, if you had 22 stitches on the top row here, 22 minus two is 20. 20 is not divisible by three evenly. You're gonna get a decimal point. So if I have 22 stitches, I need to find the next number up that subtract two is also divisible by three. So I know that 24 is divisible by three. So 24 plus two would be 26, okay? So if I need 26 stitches, but I only have 22 stitches in my row, I just need to add four more stitches in here. Need, need to do four more increased single crochets in this top row in order to make the cable stitch work out for me. Okay, if you have any questions about the math, I know some people are not great with math, just go ahead and feel free and 
contact me in any way and I can absolutely help give you the number or work that out with you, okay? We're gonna chain one. So here, I just, I just did my slip stitch to attach my yarn. I'm going to chain one, single crochet in that very same space right there, single crochet. And then in each space across, I'm putting one single crochet And if you are somebody that does need to add some stitches to make the cable stitch work, you would just increase in one spot, which just means in the same space you put a single crochet, you're going to put one more single crochet and then keep going until you can count at the very end, you can count that you have enough stitches to make the cable stitch work. So go ahead and continue putting one single crochet in each space across the entire top of the work adding a stitch where you need to add a stitch really just balance it out evenly space it as best you can but it's not a required like i need to make sure i put an increased stitch this many spaces apart from each other you just use your best judgment uh, i'm going to go ahead and meet you at that last stitch to show you how to do the corner and go along the sides of the work okay once you have reached the very last space of your top row you're going to put three single crochets in that last space that last corner space so one same space two same space three we put three because the first single crochet counts as the very last stitch for this side row the second single crochet is our turning stitch to get us onto this side and then the third single crochet is our very first stitch for the side of this row. What you will see here is I have three different examples. This example is full of single crochets. So we will use this example for me to show you how to work the side of a row that either begins or ends with a single crochet. In this example right here, every row is a half double crochet. So I will use this example to show you how many stitches you will put in the side of the row that either ends with a half double crochet or begins with a half double crochet. And in this example right here, each row has a double crochet. So it'll sh I will show you how many stitches go into the side of the row that either begins with a double crochet or ends with a double crochet or you have to chain two to get to the next row, okay? So in this example, every row ends or begins with a single crochet. I have already counted that I have 20 rows. I do know that 20 is in a multiple count of three plus two. So I am cleared to put one single crochet in the side of every single row. Okay, if you have a different count where you knew you needed to add stitches to the side of your work in order to make the cable stitch actually work, you're going to just take into consideration how many extra stitches do you need. If you need four extra stitches, then you will sneak four increased stitches evenly spaced throughout the side row. So I would maybe put one right here. So one extra stitch and then I continue going with one single crochet across and then I would go okay there's my second extra stitch and keep going making sure that when you reach the end that the number of crochet stitches that you can count along the side is a number that is in a multiple of three plus two if you need help doing the math, feel free to contact me. I know some people just aren't math people and that's totally fine. I will, would be more than happy to help. Okay, put that aside. Okay, half double crochet. If your row ends or begins with a half double crochet, you will just put one single crochet in the side of that row. If you need to sneak an extra stitch somewhere, you'll do the same thing and then keep going until you make sure that you have reached, when you reach the end of your work, the number of stitches on the side of that work 
is in a, is a number that is in a multiple of three plus two. Last example, double crochets. If your work ends, if the last stitch in your work is a double crochet, or the first stitch of your work is a double crochet, or you have to chain two to get to your next row, you're going to put two single crochets at the end of every row. Okay, so next row, I see a double crochet. So I'm going to put two stitches, two single crochets in the side of that row. If you need to add stitches, you would just put a third stitch in the side of that row. Oh, I added one. There's my one addition. All right. If you see a stitch that looks like this, ignore it. Skip these spots right here. Just find the chain two or the double crochet and put everything in that big gap space. Don't put anything in the little gap space. Look for the double crochet, okay? And then put two single crochets in there, okay? Ignoring that, finding the double crochet, putting two single crochets in there. And if I need to add a stitch, I'll put a third to add a stitch. You're gonna count all these stitches and make sure that that number, subtract two, is divisible by three evenly, okay? And if it's not, then go ahead and add like an extra stitch in there somewhere real quick, <laughs> just to make sure that you have that number so the cable stitch will work out on your border. Once you get to the bottom, guys, just continue doing your the same thing you did on the top. If you had to add any stitches on the top, make sure you add the same number on the bottom, unless you had a different count on the beginning of your work than you did on the end of your work, then just make sure, again, that whatever number of stitches are on this side are in a multiple of three plus two. Okay, once you have reached all the way around your work and come up to the beginning, go ahead and pause. I will meet you there and I will then show you how to do the cable stitch. Okay, once you have come all the way around your entire work, and you have reached the very last stitch, you'll see that there's already one single crochet in that stitch. We put three single crochets in the corner, so I only have to add two more single crochets to this corner. So one, two, and then the third one that was already in there. Okay, go ahead and slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet to close off that foundation row border, and we are ready to begin the cable stitch. You're going to chain one, single crochet in the same space that we just slip stitched into. Great. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two spaces, so skip one, skip two. Single crochet in the third space single crochet. Turn your work so you are now facing the back of your work. You're going to put one single crochet in each of the three chains. So chain one, we will put one single crochet. Chain two, we will put one single crochet. And chain three, we will put one single crochet. Perfect. Turn our work back around so we are now facing the front of the work. Great, you see this arch right here we have made. You see the two skipped spaces that we skipped. You are going to want to take your crochet hook, go behind the arch, behind the arch, see hi, hello. Go in front of the skipped space and insert your crochet hook into that skipped space. Yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through both, putting one single crochet in that first skipped space. That pushes that arch down. You're going to put one single crochet in the second skipped space, just like that. And you are done with your first cable, okay? We just repeat the process. So we chain three, one, two, three, skip two spaces, so we skip this space right here, we are technically still in, woohoo, we are in this space right here. We want to skip 
this one. We want to skip this second one and we will put one single crochet in this third space right here. Okay, so skip one, skip two, single crochet. Turn your work so you are looking at the back of the work. One single crochet in each chain. One, two, three. Turn our work back around so we are now looking at the front of the work. Take your crochet hook, go behind the arch in front of our foundation row, in front of this stitch right here, the first skipped stitch that we missed. Insert your crochet hook into that space and make one single crochet. And then in the second skipped space, put one single crochet, okay? And you repeat the process, chain three, one, two, three, skip two spaces, so skip one, skip two, single crochet in the third space, turn your work, one single crochet in each chain, one, two, three, turn our work back to the front, single crochet in the first skipped space, single crochet in the second skipped space. There are our cables. We have three cables created. Go ahead and continue this process all the way to the corner and then I'll show you, I'll walk through with you how to get around that corner. One, two, three, one, two, So we have just reached the corner of our top row. You're going to continue to repeat the same steps for the stitch. So chain three, three, skip two spaces. So skip one, skip two, single crochet in the third space. Turn your work, one single crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, turn our work back to the front and you're going to go behind the arch into the first skipped space, single crochet and that pushes that arch down, one single crochet in the second skipped space and repeat. One, two, three, skip two spaces. So skip one, skip two, single crochet in the third space. All right, and then I'm gonna pause just to reflect on what our corner just looked like. Okay, so here is our corner. Okay, and it just continues on all the way around. You don't have to do anything special for your corners, basically, is what I'm trying to get through. Go ahead and continue this border all the way around to the very beginning of your work. And then I will show you how to put the stitch, the very last stitch that will interlock both this last section into your very first stitch. That way it all flows very evenly, very cleanly through the first stitch. 
All right. All right. Keep going. You are doing fantastic. Okay. So I paused right before I made my final stitch to close up the entire border. Here, I'm going to just walk through this, these last two stitches with you. Okay. So chaining three, one, two, three, skipping two. So one, two, single crochet in the third space, turning our work to the back, one single crochet in each chain, one, two, three, turning our work. So we're looking at the front of our work, behind the arch, in front of our first skipped space, one single crochet in the first skip space, one single crochet in the second skipped space. Okay, so this is the, that last stitch. So you're gonna chain three, one, two, three. Okay, we're skipping two spaces. So we skip this one, we skip two, and we insert into the very first skipped space of our very first arch that we made. So here's our arch going into the very first skipped space of that first arch. We're going to go in the front of it, pushing that arch back. Okay. Just like that. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both for a single crochet. Turn your work. One single crochet in each chain. One, two, three. Turn our work to the front of the work. Okay. Put our crochet hook behind our arch through that big hole of our arch. Find the first skipped space, put one single crochet. Okay, second skipped space, which would have been our very first single crochet of our entire border. We're going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet. So find that single crochet, top of it, going to slip stitch right there. And that closes off your entire border. And now look, this stitch that we just did, because we placed it in front, looks like it didn't have any skipped beat right there. Pretty awesome, right? So then all you will do is grab your scissors, cut off your yarn, your working yarn, Yarn over, pull through that loop, pull tight, and you're done. That's it, guys. That is your cable stitch border. It's very bubbly. It's very full of texture and lots and lots of detail. It's very pretty. All right, all you have to do now is weave in your ends, and you are done. All right, guys, that is how you would make a border using the crochet cable stitch. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. And also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.